Well, hello everybody. It's that time again. It's time for that blog that truly blazes. And it's certainly going to blaze today here on September the 2nd of 2011. We got a good reading this week, so stick around and check it out. Okay, here we go with a weekly three card reading live here from Modern Zen. The first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now that card is the Hierophant. Taurus, good energy. You know, I thought this might manifest as actual income flow. It didn't. That wasn't my experience this week. My experience was I got a greater appreciation for what I already have. For I am blessed with abundance. I am blessed with plenitude. I am blessed in many, many, many many different ways. And that was the significance of the reading. Okay, we had the Ten of Cups, we had the Hierophant, had some beautiful cards, but it didn't manifest as like a flow of wealth as much as it was a realization of what I already have. But you know what? That's okay. That's a wonderful and beautiful thing to be grateful for what one already has. Now the next card is also not a bad card at all. It's the devil. Now, of course, the devil isn't evil. The devil is Capricorn. In these challenging times, we tend to buckle down. We tend to focus strongly on building up our finances. Capricorn is thrifty. It's ambitious. It wants to get ahead, but it's careful. It's careful with the finances, careful with the money, carefully planning moves, not moving forward recklessly, but moving. Okay, so we're not saying don't spend, stay at home. What, what I am saying is that it's good to be thrifty right now and it's good to be careful in the decision making. And it's good to be focused on what we need to do in order to make things happen for us. That retrograde is well past us now. It's time to go ahead and resolve to buckle down and to make our plans happen. But it tends, continues to be a challenge. The third and final card is the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands, again, not a bad card at all. It's the Sun in Sagittarius. It's having personal backbone, integrity, strength, not being afraid. Sagittarius likes to explore. Again, we're not saying you got to go out there and recklessly explore and recklessly spend money, but don't be scared. That's the main thing. That's the lesson. That was the lesson from this last week. That was the significance of Taurus, the significance of Ten of Cups. Again, when you realize what you already have and you start letting go of fear, fear of loss, fear of not having enough, you know, you focus on what you want. Focus on the good things in life that you want to achieve. And maybe you can't do everything you want to do right now with the economy, but it's okay because you do what you have to do, you do what you need to do, you focus on what you want instead of what you don't want, and you really do get more positive results. So this week is going to be good. It's just a matter of focus, determination, balance, and everything comes together. Everything is perfectly, perfectly okay. Well, listen, I hope you enjoyed this blog that truly blazes. I always continue to enjoy making it. It's a blessing to me. I do thank you for watching it. And until I meet you again, many, many, many blessings.